Whenever you install a Linux operating system, normally the root user is the default user and everybody that knows about Linux knows that. That is why whenever you get a new server, a new VPS server, you need to create a new user that you can use to log into your server and then you can disable the root user from logging into your server via SSH. Once the user is created, we're going to add the user to sudo as group. And then after that, we'll see how we can set up SSH key authentication for that user. But first, let's start by creating a new user. If you're not already on this post, I have created a short link for this post and you can just go to bizanosa.com slash ubuntu22. That's going to bring you to this post. You can come down and click wherever you want to go to. So I'm going to go to create a sudo user. First, I want to create a user. So to add a user on Linux, almost any Linux system, you just use the command add user and then the name of the user. And then after that, we're going to add this user to the user group, sudo group. User mode is just a way for you to modify a user. You can modify lots of different things about a user. In this case, we're modifying the group g to sudo for the user named new user. So first of all, let's just create the new user and I want to create a new user. Let me, I'll just call the new user the new user as it is here. So let me go back to git bash and let me clear the screen. Control L, paste. Let's call it the new user three. So adding the user, give the user a new name, a new password, I mean, give it a strong password because this is going to be your new administrator on your Linux machine. So make sure you give this user a strong password. Another password. Retype the password. So the password has been updated successfully. And then you can add more details about your user. I'm just going to press enter to skip all this. Is the information correct? Press enter. Now we have the new user. Now the next step is we're going to modify the new user. We want to add them to the sudo group and the sudo group can perform root level tasks by using the command sudo. So you just add the keyword sudo before any command and they will be able to do it. So let's come down here and we're going to just copy this. Paste. The new user was called the new user three. So make sure you change it with the, the name of your user. Enter and now this user should be in the sudo's group. So let's switch. Instead of switching to that new user, let's just try to log into the server using the new user that we've created. So I'm going to open a new instance of git bash. And we're going to try to log in with the new user. Let me come back here. I want to copy the IP address. And now we need to enter the password that we set for the new user. There we go. We are logged in as the new user. We can try to run sudo to see if we've been successfully added onto the sudo group. So I'm, I'm going to do control L to, to clear the screen. So I can do something like sudo top. The first time you run sudo, you need to enter the password and consequently you won't have to run it. You won't have to add it again until your session expires. So after adding the password for my user, you can see that we can run sudo. I'm just going to do control C to get out of this. And I can do control L again to create to clear the screen. Let's try again. Let's try something else. Let's do sudo apt update to see if we can update the server. And since we can do that, it means that everything is working well and we can see we don't have any packages to update. You've seen how you can create a new user in Ubuntu. You've seen how you can create a new user in Ubuntu and then add the user to the sudoers group. The next step, let us set up SSH key login for Ubuntu 22.04. And that's the next step. Let's get started on that.